friends, long time no see. My name is Katie. Welcome to my channel. My husband installed two pieces of trim in our garden room. I got those caulked and painted, which led to washing the curtains and doing some other cleaning. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And at the end of this video, a thrifted piece of furniture is fixed up and styled. I wanted to see if this love seat would look good in the living room. It did not, so I put it back in the garden room. I didn't give up trying to find a new spot for this love seat. I decided to try it underneath the other window, but in the end it didn't work and I ended up putting it back where it was in the beginning. Tell me in the comment section below whether you like the look of fabric on the windows, in curtains or valances, or if you prefer blinds or shutters. I like fabric on my windows and then blinds for privacy. And light control because in Texas it is hot. at this point I decided that the valances needed to be steamed so out came the steamer I touched up the paint behind the chair. It was a little dirty and there were some coffee spills. I cleaned those off before I painted.
ready to see if the sofa would fit against this wall. Everything was all clean and ready. Now it was time to see if I could get my husband's area where he likes to read all fixed up and if I would like it. I wasn't sure if he'd be a fan of having his chair moved. He likes his corner. So this is what it looked like. I didn't like coming out of the kitchen and looking straight on to my husband's chair. I'm not a huge fan of that chair. It's from Ikea, but he loves that chair. So uh, his chair went back in the corner and the couch went back under the windows. plant babies needed a drink.
Since I made this video, we've already removed this glass fronted bookcase. It uh, has gone out to our cabin in East Texas for my husband to store his books and I've replaced it with something I found at the thrift store. I was okay with letting the black cabinet go. It wasn't relating very well to the opposite side of the French doors. I put my great grandmother's sewing machine table in that spot when I removed a dresser. I needed the dresser in East Texas. I cut a piece to fit in with the jigsaw, just a piece of pine to slip in there. It was some sort of cavity. This part was a drawer. And then there's a little like black tray still under there. I wanted to keep that as original as possible in case anybody someday wants to take this back apart and put it as a sewing machine. But in order to have it as a tabletop, it, I needed a piece of wood to slip into that cavity. I left the holes, this is where the uh, leather um, cord went through so that to, to pull the uh, pedal and operate the machine. It's still, it's been outside actually, just this with a piece of, with some cedar on it. And then I was using the drawers for something else and um, put it all, you know, found the drawers, put it all back together, and now that is in here. It's not perfect by any means as far as the decor of the room, but not sure what we're doing in a few years when my husband retires and I really didn't want to buy another piece of furniture for this corner because I already have too much furniture if we move to East Texas permanently and sell this house. So there is that corner. I didn't have anything to go in the place of the bookcase, however, so I went on the hunt for something inexpensive, even though I said I didn't want to buy more furniture. This old $100 hutch was perfect. I found it at the thrift store. It relates okay with the sewing machine table, and it's a perfect place to style a few seasonal accessories. It was oddly shiny, so I sanded it down. I replaced the poles with mismatched vintage ones from my stash. I ran to Fort Worth today to the architectural salvage store, but they only had some reproductions. The sizes were really hard to match because they're vintage and they don't make them anymore. The whole piece got a good wiping down with Restora finish. I found it at the antique store. It restores the surface of a piece of furniture without a lot of stripping. I did sand the other off, but uh, it seems to be fine now. I've always had a soft spot for a cute pine hutch. We had one in our breakfast room when I was growing up. I love how it turned out and I'm going to love styling it for the different seasons and holidays.
that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.